The Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, still trying to cling to life, launches new Zoe Lawton DLC to less than 300 play. Who the hell is Zoe Lawton? Rocksteady has a lot in store for Season 3 of Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. However, the community isn't convinced that the new content offerings will do anything but continue to miss the mark. She's not even hot. Like, if her boobs were really big and she's in, like, tight spandex, I would give it a shot. Oh, my God. Oh, let's talk about it. Yes. Oh, my God, dude. Having gone live on October 1st, the main draw of the new season like its predecessor is the introduction of a new playable this time it's a form of zoe lawton aka lawless official info of L zoe lawton states that she's gotham's most ethical thief so robin the hood again ethical Putting her skills to use to steal from the rich and give to the poor to city struggling citizens like various villainous like a villainous Robin Hood. Robin the Hood all over again. <laughs> Notably, Zoe also live streams her heists with the intent of showing people of Gotham that they don't have to live in fear of city's powerful elites. Oh my. This is the most cringish shit. It just gets worse. It just gets more cringe every re every fucking release. As for our backstory, Zoe is both pretty interesting and important to the game's lore as more than just her own villain. She's also the daughter of the feared Gotham assassin Floyd Lawton, other known as Deadshot. Notably, like her father, she's also been race swapped in comparison to her original comic book counterpart in a fact that has stirred some controversy within the community. No one is playing this game. To this end, her specific storyline will bring her face to face with her father, tense as their relationship is a that they team up to stop Brainiac from further invading Metropolis. While this opportunity will serve as a chance for the father and daughter to reconnect, Zoe also intends to use their time together to steal from the the colon uh colon villains alien technology for herself so basically they defunded the police aka the justice league they ended up killing them and now they're stealing stuff you can't make this shit up man unfortunately rocksteady and warner brothers game zoe's edition has done little to impress suicide squad kills the justice league's few remaining players so nothing new question mark a new character that uh plays exactly like the previous ones and just a reskins from weapons and same boss battle again jesus they aren't even trying anymore so it looks like this person actually plays the game another fan questioned why are we fighting the same brainiac fights when we when there are all different universes he took over with countless ones uh different justice league members he could have cloned why in a looter shooter don't you have raids and nothing new in the open world brainiac would have taken over gotham at this point nothing new to teach sorry nothing new to each character build they can all still do the same thing and nothing new to the mission pool uh the potential is this game uh, had and we're, wb rock city not listening to the community is sad do better man this game has really it was really doomed from the start if it's this, this season's <laughs> This is the seasons they had between the atrocity that is Mrs. Freeze now the random characters so many choices They have dropped the ball so hard. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> Oh man, oh all right. All right, so let's see in the past month they have got all the way up to 500, 503, and then it went, and now it's at, so yesterday was the release, right? The release should be, yeah, this is the release. So they only, so after the update, the only, they've only gotten like 30 extra players. 
This new patch update netted them plus 30 players. Currently playing right now is 142. Man. Dude, just shut it down already. Just shut it down. It's over. Stop it, all right? Just, just, oh my God, just stop. New update, peak 24. That, oh, this is so bad, dude. People are like super coping. I bet you one of them is Paul Tassi. He's like, please, please let me suck your dick. Please let me suck it. <laughs>